Okay, class, let's continue with page 53. On page 53, we have vocabulary in picture. So, the idea for this part is to review our vocabulary. No? All vocabulary, for example, about food and about free time activities. Let's practice. Okay, this is our vocabulary. You are going to listen and then repeat in your house. Apple, bread, cake, carrots, cheese, fish, ice cream, meat, milk, nuts, pasta, potatoes, strawberries, jugger. Excellent. This is our vocabulary about food. Remember, we have two vocabulary. Number one is about food. Now, let's continue about our vocabulary about free time activities. Listen and repeat. Go shopping. Listen to music. Meet my friends. Play soccer. Read comics, ride a bike, stay up late, surf the internet, talk on the phone, watch TV. Okay, bo uh, boys and girls, listen, we have two vocabulary. Number one, it's about food, and number two, it's about free time activities, okay? So, the idea is to review, the idea is to practice, because soon you are going to take a test, and you are going to see all this uh, vocabulary. So, get ready, okay? Uh, also, we have... A, a grammar guide, no, a grammar guide, and in this grammar guide we can see the simple present, no, the simple present for this activity. Let's remember a little bit. No? We have affirmative, we have negative, and questions. No, for example, when I say affirmative, I say I eat fruit. You eat fruit. There is no problem. In the case of he, she, and it, be careful because he eats fruit. She eats fruit. It eats fruit. Remember, tss on the verb. We, you, and they, once again, no problem. We eat fruit. They eat fruit. Oh, sorry, you eat fruit and they eat fruit. Be careful in this part, okay? Be careful here. No, this is going to be a, maybe the tricky of this tense, no? Tricky, el truquito. Let's see. We use a simple present to talk about routines and habits. I get up at 7 o'clock every morning. It's like a routine. Every day I get up at 7 o'clock. It's a routine. We use the simple present to describe Fox. She lives in Australia. No, to describe something. For example, she likes pizza. She drinks Coca-Cola. No in the cola, eh? Coca-Cola. Or uh, she loves apples. No, no bananas, apples. No, in this case we talk about Fox. Well, this is affirmative. Now let's continue with negative. In negative sentences, 
Well, we need to use do or does. But in a negative form. No, here's a do not or does not. That is okay, but much better is that, uh, sorry, don't and doesn't. For example, I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat. Okay? In the case of he, she, it, remember here you add letter S, not S. Here is not necessary. But you just doesn't. Look, he doesn't eat meat. She doesn't eat meat. It doesn't eat meat. Huh? Normal. Because of this. No, because of doesn't. Doesn't. Okay? We don't eat meat. You don't eat meat. And they don't eat meat. So, here once again, there is no problem. To form the negative, we use don't or doesn't before the verb. Okay? Don't or doesn't before the verb. Okay? We usually use contracted form. Don't and doesn't. Contracted form. In conversations and in formal writing. She doesn't like coffee. No. Remember? Don't or doesn't. And finally, we have a question. No? The question part. Do. And we start with do or does. No? For example, here it says... I eat fruit, I can say, do I eat fruit? No. I read, do I read? Do you read? And here you have two choices, no, two alternatives. You can say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. It depends on you. It depends on your answer. Does, does he, does he read, does she read, does it read? For example, for the first, does he read? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Second, does she read? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Three, does it read? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. In this part, you have the option. Choose only one alternative. Yes or no. But use that, that correct answer, okay? The correct answer. And the last one says, do we, do you, or do they read? Do we read? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do you read? It's like in the first part. No, do you read? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do they read? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay? No, they don't. Here it says, in question we use do or does before the subject. No? Do or does before I, you, he, she, it, we, you, or they. We don't repeat the verb in short answers. No? It's like, for example, do you like, pizza? Do you like pasta? Yes, I do like pasta. No, no, no. It's not necessary. Yes, I do, or no, I don't, and that's okay. Also, here we have, you know, spelling third person singular, and this is focus on this one, okay, in this part. Can you remember? No, it's. And here are the rules, no? For more verbs, we add letter S, like drink, drinks, cook. Cooks, play, plays. That's no problem. For other verbs that ends in O, S, 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 or X, like do, does. No, you add ES. No, ES. Do, does. Miss, misses. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Mix, Mixes. Some examples, okay? Some examples. Mister, can we see more verbs? Of course. Go, goes, for example. Okay? For a verb that ends in consonant plus Y. 
slide for study transform letter y into ies study studies no here and remember it when finishing consonant no consonant and then letter y for example here is a vowel no and there is letter y here there is no problem okay here no problem and some irregulars like for example b in the third person you say is no he is she is or it is in the case of have has no he has she has or it has okay class well th this is being a review no a review for a grammar guide and vocabulary in pictures so we're going to try to do these activities in our classes hope you like the video thank you so much see you in classes bye bye